Hey, it's Airsoft Mike and I'm here today to do yet another unboxing. Uh, hello, what are you wearing? I thought today's video was all about camouflage. It is, the gun. Oh, come on. I've got the trousers and everything. Come on, let me stay in this. No, get changed now. Really? Yes. Oh, you're no fun. Sorry. It's Airsoft Mike and I'm here today to do yet another unboxing. Now, as you already know by now, I'm unboxing a very special pistol. A pistol that is different to anything I've ever had up on that wall. So, um, let's get to it. I'm actually referring to, of course, the multicam that it's got all over it. Looks absolutely gorgeous. I do like this. I know a full multicam pistol is not to everybody's liking, but I do like this. This really does look cool. Looks great. Let me just show you around the gun. But, you know, before I even do that, let me say this. Apparently, I'm not allowed to say that this looks exactly like a What was that noise for? Sorry about that. Anyway, what I said was, this looks exactly like a Oh, you're kidding me. So I'm not allowed to say this looks like a That's ridiculous. This is my channel. I will say what I want. No one can sue me. It's not as if I'm selling this. It's not as if I made this. People, this looks exactly like a Okay, let's get to the features of this beautiful looking piece. Right, so it is CO2 powered and I'm going to show you exactly how that works later on and how you put the cylinder in this piece also because it is slightly different to other CO2 pistols you may be used to. It's got a very nice uh, laser engraved markings just there, ACP. It's got the Hakotsu, I think that's how you pronounce it, skull right on the back there. You've got your safety button on the trigger. You got your APS logo on the left side of the grip. You got your APS logo on the right side of the grip. You got your glow in the dark sights. You got your 20 millimeter Picatinny rail. It has your slide release there. It also has a hole right there so you can put a lanyard on it. 
And if you want to take down the gun, you do that there. You've got your 23 round mag. It's hop up adjustable. It's a semi-automatic pistol. Right, so let's get to the mag. Cool looking base on the mag. The mag takes about 23 rounds. On the base of the mag, you have this plastic piece right here. The rest of the mag is metal. It's got a nice weight to it. This piece here, which has a nice markings as well on the base, slides off and it reveals a very different and very cool CO2 system. Look at this. Groovy. Now, I say very different and very cool. It's because it's different to what I'm used to when it comes to CO2 pistols. I'll show you right now how you load up a uh, gas capsule or canister inside this mag. As you can see, this is very different to anything that you've probably seen before on a CO2 pistol. Obviously, if you had this pistol already, you would be used to this. Um, so, let me show you how you put the CO2 capsule in. Supplied with the pistol is this key. You use this key to get that out. So I'm going to do that for you right now. So you turn it counterclockwise to loosen it. Okay, that's loosened enough with the key so I can go ahead and remove it with my hand. There you go. You grab one CO2 capsule and you pop it in. You screw this back on. Obviously start it off with your hands. Then you grab the key to screw it in tightly. And you keep going, keep going, keep going until it pretty much can't move anymore. So that's where we are there. However, the center piece right here, the silver colored piece right here, that needs to be tightened even more. So you turn the key around to the smaller flat edge of this key, stick it in so it only engages the silver section of that cap that I just screwed on, and you turn that until you hear that familiar hiss that you hear whenever a CO2 capsule has been pierced. And then, using the key, you need to just slightly loosen that silver section. And then we're good to go. Right, let me quickly address an issue that I know some airsofters are having with this particular system. When you get a standard size 12 gram CO2 capsule and slot it in, no issues. But when you put this cap on and then you try and put this base back on, it normally won't go on because this is too high and you can't screw it down any further. There is a fix for this. I know some people say there's a Mark II version of this magazine which eliminates that issue, but I have a fix for you if you have the Mark I version. All you have to do is make sure, let me just get this focused because the light's a bit too strong, there you go. You can see there's a gold outer section and a silver inner section. Make sure that silver inner section is raised a little higher than the gold section. You can see that right there. Just by a very small amount. Then you use the large section of the supplied key, get that in to screw it all the way down. And once it's tight, don't over tighten, but once it's tight enough, you can then use the smaller section of the key to engage that inner silver section. And you can screw that down until your magazine, or should I say the CO2 cartridge is pierced. And then your base goes on nicely. Absolutely fantastic. I really do like this. I will say right now, I like to be honest with my reviews. As much as I love this gun and how it looks, how different it is, and how much it looks like a <laughs> you right? I think the whole process of putting in that CO2 cylinder in the magazine is very long and drawn out and ain't nobody got time for that. It it's really is drawn out. Um, if you've got two or three mags, not an issue. You can load two or three mags up or even more, bring them to a game. When the, I think you can get about two full mags out of each cylinder, I could be wrong, but I'll by the end of this video, I'll put up the exact specs for you. Um, but yeah, if you don't mind that hassle of putting that cylinder in that magazine with that unique looking way of doing things, um, 
then this gun is absolutely fantastic so far because I've not chronoed it yet and I've not tested it yet. But as far as looks are concerned, come on, this is very nice. And I don't care what anyone says, this to me looks like a Do you know what? Let's compare the two. So what else can I show you about this fantastic APS Action Combat Multicam CO2 Gas Blowback Pistol? What a mouthful. Well, as I mentioned before, you've got your safety mechanism incorporated within the trigger. I love that feature because right now, as you can see, you can see there's a red section showing, which means the gun is live, it is ready to fire. If I push it in, puts it on safe, and the trigger will not engage. And a very cool feature that I absolutely love on this sidearm is your glow in the dark sights. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna turn out the studio light and let's see how effective they are. So bear with me, bear with, bear with, lights out. Look at those bad boys. Now that is very cool, very effective. I can't say I've seen much better. I know I have an MMP with glow in the dark sights but hey, if you look behind me, it's not even completely dark in my Airsoft Armoury studio, yet these glow-in-the-dark sights are very effective. Right, it's all very well going on how cool this looks. How does it perform? Well, let's go and do it. Right, let's see how this performs. Now, before I go ahead with the shooting test, there is another cool feature that you have with this piece, during the unboxing, I showed you various bits that you get inside the box, brand new, you don't have to buy them extra. Um, this being one of them. A little black threaded piece that goes into the end of your pistol. And that enables you to pop on a silencer. Right here, I've got a HK Pro Silencer, so I'm gonna go ahead Pop this on, just so that you can see how much more tactical this gun looks. Um, I mean, this is cool. I really do like this. Nice feature. Anyway, for the purpose of this test, I'm gonna take it off. Let's get to the shooting test. So straight away, I've already got the mag filled with some BBs. Of course, earlier you saw me put the CO2 cartridge in there. So the mag's all good and ready to go. But do remember what I told you about this base plate on this magazine. If you're having issues putting this back on once you've installed your CO2 cartridge, just rewind back earlier in this review to see how I fixed that issue. Okay, let's do this. Always remember eye protection. And for the first time ever on the Airsoft Mike YouTube channel, I'm gonna have to stop this review right here to declare to you now, this bad boy is giving me problems. I don't know what it is. It could be the internals in the slide. 
It could be the internals in the lower frame. It could be the magazine. It could be the CO2 system. It could be that these CO2 cartridges or capsules that I'm using are at least seven to eight years old. Whatever's happening, this is only managing now to fire one shot and it's as if it's not got enough power to rack the slide back to give me a second shot. Drop your comments below, tell me your thoughts. Either way, I'm gonna have a good look at the internal, see what I can do to it, see what needs to be done, whether it just needs some lubrication, I don't know. Either way, I will be doing a follow-up review of this pistol, but for now, I will say this. <laughs> well, that's a first. I've never had an unboxing where the gun just did not function how it's supposed to. Now, it could be for a number of reasons. It could be that the internals of this gun are rubbish. It could be that the CO2 capsules that I have are just too out of date. Is that possible? It could be the magazine is no good. It could be just, you know, it needs breaking in. I really don't know, but it's the first time I've had a gas blowback, brand new, out of the box, that didn't work straight away how it should be. And as you can see, and as you know, I have quite a few gas blowback pistols. And this is the first time I've had this issue with a new gun. Do you have this gun? Do you have the same issues? Did you fix it? Did you just send it back? Is it just a rubbish gun? Or could it be any of the issues that I mentioned before? Drop a comment below, let me know, good or bad, just be honest, okay? But for this video, there will be no thumb up or thumb down option, because I've got to give this gun the benefit of the doubt until I get some new fresh CO2 uh, cartridges in. That may not have anything to do with it. I'm just saying, I'm gonna try everything. Then when I do a follow-up review of this gun, you will be able to either thumb up or thumb down. But for this video, all I want is your comments below, good or bad. What's your experience with this particular gun? Waste of time that was putting all this gear on. Oh. Spoil sport. Oh. Oh. 